the new PSAT is dominated by algebra problems. So we'll be talking a lot about algebra in the videos to follow. And in this one, I want to emphasize the idea that even though a lot of times you're going to be solving for x directly or you know y directly, you know, typical for these kinds of problems, sometimes if you solve for something else directly, it saves you a lot of time and effort. And in this case, notice we are given an equation, and x, y is the solution to the equation above, and y doesn't equal zero. What is the ratio of x to y? So your instinct might be to solve for x directly and or maybe to solve for y directly and then divide them and then see what you get. And that will, I suppose, eventually lead you to the answer. It's just a lot of work, and I'll show you why at the end. Let me show you the quick way, which is to, as the, the title of this episode suggests, solve the algebra directly. So solve for this directly rather than trying to solve for x individually and then y individually. So what does that look like here? So we've got 3 times x plus y equals y. So first thing we'll do is we'll distribute this 3. So 3x plus 3y equals y. Let's bring all the x's and y's together. So I'm going to throw the 3y over to the other side. So I'm going to get 3x equals negative 2y. And now, again, I want to get x over y. So let me divide both sides by 3. So I'm going to get x is equal to negative 2 thirds y. And now let me divide both sides by y. Because what I'm going to get is on the left side, x over y, which is exactly what I want, equals negative 2 thirds. And there is the direct answer, choice B. Now again, you could solve for it individually, but you're going to see you're going to run into an issue. So let's take a side branch of this approach here. Let's go here. So we're going to be at 3x plus 3y equals y. And you're immediately going to see that we have a problem. We've got one equation and two unknowns. So we're not going to be able to get any actual exact value for x and y. What you could do, I suppose, is to, again, solve for 3x equals negative 2y. And then x is equal to negative 2 thirds y. And then you could substitute that in here, right? So x over y equals, substitute this in, negative 2 thirds y over y. The y's, of course, cancel, and we're down to negative 2 thirds. Same answer, just a little bit, I think, more complicated, a few more extra steps. I think it's much better to solve for x over y directly and get choice B. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.